In this video, I'm going to solve problem 2.1 in your textbook. Problem 2.1 says that we have a motorcycle with a mass of 200 kilograms that applies a constant acceleration to go from an initial velocity of 0 meters per second to a final velocity of 5 meters per second in 5 seconds. And the problem asks what is the power applied by the motorcycle during this time. So to do this I'm going to use what's called the work kinetic energy theorem and that says that work is a change in kinetic energy. So what would be the change in kinetic energy? Well, I started at 0 meters per second, so my initial kinetic energy is 0. So this equation will look something like 1 half mv squared final minus 1 half mv squared initial, which is just 0. So if I calculate my kinetic energy at the end by plugging in my mass and my final velocity, I find that, if I grab the handy dandy calculator, that my kinetic energy at the end, and therefore my work, is 62,500 joules. But that is an energy, not a power. Remember that power is work or energy over time, which in this case would be 62,500 joules divided by 5 seconds. And with that, I get 12,500 watts. And that is the power applied by the motorcycle.